Golly, my brother. It's around um, 90 psi, yeah, 23 degrees. guys welcome again um, I have to say I'm so relieved right now finally I get to drive my Supra I took it to work today and I drove it last night with my brother um, and everything touch wood is uh, going smoothly the diff and the, um, the whole drivetrain package it's not making any weird sounds so I'm happy with that um, engine wise uh, we had a little bit of a hiccup uh, yesterday uh, there was a bit of an oil leak all, all seeping through the some of the fittings that I did um, wrong so we took the car back uh, put it back up on the, um, the stands and I replaced it so we, I took it out driving uh, last night um, did a few sort of runs and there was no no drip whatsoever so so you know fingers crossed it stays that way um, so now I'm just going to show you the actual battery that I relocated in the back um, how it looks like and the arrangement there and also a bit more of the, the engine bay. But apart from that, power-wise hasn't changed. Um, I'm just happy to have it back on the road. So hope to see um, more videos of me roll racing some other cars in the near future. So let's have a look at the what's under the hood. This is a bloody thing. Yeah. And this bonnet's heavy. All right, here we go. Yeah. So, pretty obvious, but there's my oil filter. And after many, many sleepless nights of uh, trying to assemble AN fittings myself with my brother's help, we finally got it not leaking. So I'm happy with that. So here's the uh, oil thermostat housing and so you have basically the 
This is where the oil leaving the oil filter comes into this thermostat and then inside here there's this internal mechanism that works out if the oil temperature is over a certain um, level and then it will either divert it back through into the uh, engine block or it goes through the um, oil cooler and it comes back out. And then you have to see here I have the uh, oil pressure and uh, temperature sensor so that was so I just had to do extra fittings for that and then here is where it returns back into the block. That was particularly hard to do without removing the intake manifold. I had to sort of shove my hand in there and tighten the, um, the fittings up uh, outside of the engine and then put it in there. It's really awkward and I don't want to do that ever again. And here is the this is new junction where it connects to the, um, the two gauge power cable and I run that all the way through the car along the side of the sill into the back. So it's kind of neat inside there. Not so neat out here because you can see there's a big fat red wire, but it's not too bad, it does a job. So I'll leave it as that for now. So let's now have a look at the boot and what I did with the battery. Yeah. Nah, stay up there. Here we go. It's, it's a bit messy, but what I've done was I've basically rerouted the the um, fuel p pumps. So that used to be in the front of the uh, in, inside the engine bay and I've pulled it out to the back and snipped it, made it shorter and then ran lines to the, the battery and here you have a 200 amp circuit breaker uh, with an isolation switch that I just mounted on the side there so it's sort of out of the way and then here is just the battery, an Optima battery holder I got it from um, Amazon and it's a, the brand is called ICT so they make pretty good products so I would, I would actually say um, it works well and it really holds the battery in place so yeah and it's sort of you know hidden away so, so that recaps uh, all the minor upgrades I've done to my Supra over the last uh, four months so you've seen the uh, diff upgrade uh, the oil filter relocation and the battery relocation to the boot so you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in front of the Alpha 4C instead of the Supra. That's because the Supra is back with the mechanic. But before I leave you guys, I'm going to leave you with a few videos just of my um, excursion down to the back roads. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. Um, and until then, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope to see you sometime in the future. Cheers.
she realize 